hi now the king of bahrain sheikh isa he has visited moscow and had a very friendly meeting with vladimir putin friendly in sense that uh, the statements which came out from the king that he said what a beautiful city moscow is and uh, he was missing it for so long and he came there after so long and he also uh, said that he was very happy uh, after meeting with his very dear friend that is vladimir putin and putin also reciprocated in the same friendly manner now this is very important geopolitically as well as regionally for that region because uh, this gulf arab island nation a small country of bahrain it is the strongest and strongest ally of america as well as west historically and the king is backed by arab league which is an umbrella organization of the arab states and uh, throughout uh, my study uh, of the history of this body i have seen that it has been dominated by different countries at various times like if you look at 60s uh, in the era of 60s it was dominated by nasir egypt and right now it is being dominated by gulf arab states so with the backing of the entire arab league uh, the king of bahrain went to putin in moscow at the time when gaza war is going on and uh, another ukraine war is going on and putin is on odds with the collective west which is under the leadership of united states of america so this is a big sign and uh, now they want they are working for a peace conference uh, international peace conference which america do not want because america has maintained a, a monopoly in this region since mid 70s you can say and uh, it looks like since america has failed in the diplomacy and to bring the peace the arab states the arab league as well as the gulf arab states they want to move away from this monopoly and move america away from the central stage it has occupied and this uh, peace plan was actually uh, peace conference international peace conference idea was put by wang hee some months back now the arab league and arab leaders are driving it and i think eventually he the king of bahrain will also come to china as well as india so he is going to the leaders of global south the brics countries and uh, this is a big sign of shifting sands in arabia as well as uh, in the entire middle east region and it is coming at the time when icc's judgment are being harassed the icc request for warrants are being harassed by the western group and even icj's judgment is also not followed so if the you can say in term judgment or directions of icj are not being followed and what it will eventually lead to a judgment by icj which would have taken years it might come within months or a years time or something like that so things are moving very fast diplomatically and already xi jinping has called for middle east peace conference to resolve the conflict between israel and palestine so you can you are seeing the moves you will see, i am sure that uh, the king of bahrain will very soon visit to other important countries of brics that is china as well as india he may also go to south africa he may also go to brazil and this is coming at a time when mbs mohammed bin salman the crown prince and prime minister of saudi arabia he has accepted an invitation for visiting iran and this is very significant at a time when the west is on odds with iran and uh, actually if you look at uh, total uh, geopolitics of united states of america it is centered in this region in this particular region of the world on presumption that saudi arabia and iran are at odds they used to be at odds but right now the things are not like that and they have made peace among uh, each other with each other and uh, 
द विजिट ऑफ द क्राउन प्रिंस इज द बिग सिग्नल दैट पीस इज बींग एस्टेब्लिश बिटवीन ईरान एंड सऊदी अरेबिया एंड द ओल्ड थिंग्स आर नॉट वर्किंग राइट नाउ सो यू कैन सी द शिफ्टिंग सेंड्स इन अरेबिया थैंक यू